Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Victoria 2 campaign as Swedenavia. Uh, we're going to call in Prussia. Apparently it's impossible for them to join the war against Russia for the liberation of southern Finland, but it is very likely they'll join in the Punjabi, Baluchistani, whatever one. So we're going to call them in. We'll see what happens. And uh, we need to start training some troops in Africa. So, build army uh, in Africa. Hold on, I want to use the uh, the map mode. Alright, so if I create... Like, will they march through the desert to, to rally, I wonder? Let's try it. Let's find out. We'll make... Uh, we're going to make you into a rally point. Never mind, it already is a rally point. No, it's not. That's checked off, even though it's not... Okay, whatever. Hose is a rally point in Africa now. And let's just find out what happens if we build army in Africa. We want to build... Probably infantry. Can't build any guards. And yet we started the game with one. So I want probably... Cuirassier is good for combat, and you're just good for, mostly for recon. And then you are good for, who knows what, some some combination, tons of maneuver. Oh, Hussar has more maneuver. I don't understand why there's so many different types, four different types of infantry. Sorry, four different types of cavalry. I want five infantry and four cannons. That's all. Just make it simple, okay? And the answer is that yes, they are going to rally from down there. And they will rally right across this land. Interesting. Okay. We've got a lot of troops down here. Did I not ever pick these guys up? Sorry, dudes. Alright, let's slow the game down. And let's see who joined what war. Prussia has joined the... No? Okay. It said it was impossible, and yet they did join both wars. Weird. So, Prussia's helping us out against Russia in both wars. Okay. We need to finish this early railroad research. My navy cannot contest his navy at the moment. I'm hoping that he's got most of his troops down in the southeast to try to do his war. And the Prussians are marching east. Some nice looking stacks that he's got there. Ooh, he's got four of them. Jeez. Prussia, you scary. I wish I had four of them. I've got two. We are funding, trying desperately to fund the army. Okay, so we're going to keep that up there. Let's start taxes a little bit more. Tax them. Poor people. Here, do you want... Just tax them. We're at war with Russia, for crying out loud. You gotta pay your taxes, alright? To your responsibilities. Your God-given responsibilities is Swede. Swedenavian. It's a real thing, right? Swedenavian? Krakow has accepted offer of peace from Prussia. Apparently, Prussia's so strong they took over the war leader. Status the other one. Okay, well... Wait, no. Yeah, no. So, I'm still involved with the Afghanistan. I don't like that Prussia took over. We can still add war goals. I want to try to get both back. But yeah, if Prussia's gonna... Prussia's so strong they just took over. I mean, I, I'm not that strong, apparently. Look at him raising up his troops. Are you mobilized? He's not even mobilized! Prussia's just scary! There's another, another 30 stack he's made. Alright, military research. 
Here I was thinking I'd have to win this war by myself. Nope. Let's get some uh, breech-loaded rifles done. At least we get 30 research per day. The Russians are winning a naval battle, though. Should I help out? I could. Nah. Russia's so strong that, you know, we we kind of need to let them suffer a little bit, you know? Okay, you have a Hussar with you already. Your supply limit is... You use 15 supply points right now. The actual supply is 15 already, so technology is pretty crap here. We don't want to put any more units there. Ugh. Suffering attrition in my own land. Pure infantry. Need to get the African people up north <laughs> so they can help out with this war. Alright, by the way, uh, we do still have to continue to... Oh my god, the railroad investment. Yes, please. Do all the railroads. Good job, capitalists. Alright. I need to siege down southern Finland to get the ticking war score. We need to have positive... Like, the war needs to be going well. Then we add the other core... Supply here is excellent, so we'll march this army around. And hey, we can do another thing here. I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to get social reform desire way up. All trade unions are now allowed. A place in the sun. Our nation is one of the most prestigious great powers on Earth. From Stockholm to far-flung provinces beyond. Are we actually, like, in, in fourth place for prestige? Cool. Striking fear into the hearts of anyone who dares to oppose us. In celebration of our dominance and just reign, an imperial parade is being planned in Stockholm. The question that now poses itself is, should we invite foreign dignitaries to this joyous occasion, or shall we simply conclude that no other nation is fit to bask with us in our place in the sun? All must see our splendor, or our isolation is splendid. So everyone else, the, the great powers lose prestige, or we just gain more? I feel like we just gain more is just better. I don't know why you would want to do the other one. Can I at least see, like, how the battle's going? He's got far fewer ships, but... Seems like he's doing kind of okay. Alright, fine. They're transports mostly, but we'll throw them into the fight. Let's even, up, even it up a little bit. We want to win the battle, we don't want... Negative war score. Sounds like some of our African troops have been trained. And these boats have arrived over here. Wonder how we're doing, um, Russia. How many actual ships do you have? 108. Okay, I don't want to risk sending this navy with troops on it anywhere right now. But I do need to... We need to get the Africans trained up and sent to Sweden. We train one more African troop. Let's get an African Hussar. You won! Goody. See, that makes it look like we're at war with Prussia. That's kind of misleading. He's running that navy down. We'll go help. 7%. Oh my god. Kokand accepted peace terms demand Kokandi Semirish and ex Kokand. So he surrendered. Interesting. So we're still, it's like, we're still at a separate war. There's so much going on with these wars. Crazy. Supply 7 7. Okay. 
because this army only uses 15.75, it can just march over there and... This is part of Finland, right? No, it's not. So we don't really care about that, do we? Yeah, you march to that one, you march to that one. Supply here is really good. You have no Hussar, though. Getting another Hussar up here would be great. Uh, my navy is apparently fighting the Russians. We don't want to do that. Can you please stop fighting? We won the fight? Did we? I retreated. How, how does that mean that we won? Meanwhile, the Prussians are just like, I don't care, 20 on 40. And they're like, march east <laughs> to Moscow. Maybe these are like transports or something? Like, how is he... I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. He's being crazy. He's being a crazy guy. Actually have max relations with you already. Keep working on Colombia. Work on Argentina a bit. It's nice having borders with pretty much everyone because of Brazil. How goes the influence game right now? So we have a small amount of influence with Colombia. Peru is at 26. So soon we'll be able to sphere Peru. Meanwhile, I'm working on the war goal. So that's going to go just fine. Let's combine these two armies if we can. Can't merge them right now. Ninety one point eight percent literacy now. Those are Prussians. It's continuing to fight. We'll join that fight, sure. Looks like all of our troops in Africa have trained up. Just making the march. Slowly marching over. It'll take them some time. We're playing on speed 3, so it's very, very slow compared to normal. Uh, let's go back to production since we did get that new technology for railroad. We just need to sink tons of money into infrastructure. This is one of the reasons why we wanted that cement factory to be open. Right there, the cement factory is profitable. And the IKEA factory is almost being done! Yay! The second branch! The second half of the store, it's now open! Everyone, come one, come all! It's our... <laughs> We've gained the humiliate against Algeria. Why? Yeah, I totally participated in that. Yeah, Ikea factory. Upgrade. <laughs> Never stop upgrading the Ikea factory. Constantly upgrade it. This is our flagship. Actually, we're subsidizing everything. Um, fertilizer factory. No sulfur in the state. It's no wonder you're not profitable, but sure. We'll keep making it. So I think because his army is, is to the southeast, like this war is probably going to go pretty well. This is the Scandinavian liberation of southern Finland. We already have 20% war score. 11 from battles, 10 from occupation. Um, I need to talk to Russia. Add war goal. Acquire core northern Finland. Proceed. We have decided to expand our war by demanding that we acquire northern Finland as well. We had tried to be reasonable with them. Now they will pay the price for their lack of vision. Prussia also wants to acquire Wilko... Polsky. So I'm concerned though, like, since I'm not the war leader, you think he might negotiate peace and not give me the stuff that I want, just take the crap that he wants? That would suck. These Prussians are deadly. Alright, let's continue marching on all of these... Two states. This 
war is going perfectly fine. Nothing to worry about. Railroad projects. Everywhere. All pops become more in favor of jingoism and lose war exhaustion. Or make them even let us not overextend or we are in it to win it. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> uh, let's see. I don't even think we have war exhaustion. Yeah, we have like none. We're in it to win it. Hell yeah. Jingoism. We are in it to win it, damn it. Gotta liberate these Finns. They need to be part of Swedenavia. I'm just gonna call it Swedenavia from now on because we started the campaign off of Sweden. Oh crap. I just clicked. I didn't even read that. Something something war? I think it was a different war. I don't know. Hey, Afghanistan. What are you... Why are we... Why are we fighting? They would not accept white peace. Alright, fine. It seems kind of stupid of you, but alright. Sure. I mean, whatever you say. Okay. So we've got all of northern Finland, it looks like now. Fulfilled in 100%. And we just gained 15 prestige from inventing something. Sweet! Look at this sneaky little Prussians getting in board, snuck onto that island. This is, this is how you fan out. Man, here come the Russians. They've actually arrived now. But we are getting our, our fancy weapons. What is this? St. Petersburg is your capital? No way. What about M Moscow? Why is Moscow not your capital? He moved his capital. I mean, his, his capital's in St. Petersburg. All right, well, I'm going to siege his capital. I'm really glad that Prussia joined. I think that if Prussia hadn't joined, right now, these Russians would be arriving, and I'd probably be okay-ish for a little bit, but it would not be... An easy war, but Prussia is just making this super easy because he's gonna he's gonna smash all these armies. How many like army techs do you have, Prussia? He's got ten army tech, and he's got a tactics bonus. We need a tactics bonus. Fifty percent on southern Finland now. Once we siege down that last one, 62.5%, I must be missing... Oh, this one counts as well. Cool. So these are going to be good, good. Let's go for his capital. That puts us at 75%. There's one more then. That's one state. Are there two states here? No. Oh, does this one count over here? Ah, that's that island. Okay. Well, don't mind, don't mind me. I'm just sieging down your capital. Relax. It's going to be fine. I do I need to let the war leader negotiate, since I'm not the war leader? Talk to Russia. Propose peace. I'm concerned that, uh... Oh, I only have 6 war score, even though the actual war score is 46%. Interesting. So yeah, we don't want to do a separate peace, probably. Can we add another war goal? Humiliate. 3 infamy, so that we gain prestige. And their prestige goes down by 34 no, I feel like between the Prussian acquisition of Wielko, Wielko Poloski and my two cores back from Finland, that's probably going to be more than enough. I just wish I was the war leader. Taking his capital is going to be worth a ton. Uh, United Kingdom accepted uh, an offer of peace. That's not related to our war, it just scared me. We're 53%. We're almost there. I think we finished the siege of the capital and this war could end. Okay, I'm going to take a break here though. I look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Thanks for watching everyone. See you soon.